Uh, I was actually kind of surprised. I was excited, I guess, that I could make it a third year in a row. I was happy. Um, I felt really excited. I really hope that I could do good on Friday and actually make it to I felt really excited. Uh, we did uh, some drills and then we skirmished and uh, we showed the coaches what we could do and what we could bring to the team. Uh, we did a lot of shooting drills and uh, some scrimmaging to see how we did with other players and stuff like that. So good. Um, we did a lot of drills, practicing our dribbling, did some scrimmages just to get like in the game. We did a lot of passing, dribbling drills, and shooting. I did a lot of basketball. Because I like basketball. I really love basketball, and I really want to be a Providence Hall champion. I want to make the team because I made it last year, and it was a really fun experience, and it's, I just love basketball. to help students understand the greatest potential and greatest kinetic energy and how one transforms into the other and that together they are mechanical energy. Everything has potential energy, everything has kinetic energy, and everything has mechanical energy. What is the most creative uh, roller coaster lab you've seen so far? The most creative roller coaster I, I saw was when they tried attaching it from the ceiling, but it ultimately failed, and they ended up taking it, and it was like it went all down through the or down off the table and onto the floor. It was a really cool experience. Reality Town is just an, uh, an event that will allow students to get a draft of what life could look like for them after high school. I have no idea. It's our first year we're doing it. I'm hoping it'll be a success, but we don't do it until it happens. Because it's... it's Getting, exposing them to this opera or this event before they get into high school will hopefully motivate them to take the classes necessary to have more success while they're in high school. So it will make it easier for them to prepare for hopefully college. Friday, October 25th, tomorrow morning. You never quite know what to expect when you come into the classroom. I like teaching here because I think the students are amazing and that the school here is a, it's a great place to work with. I love working with all the teachers. They are awesome. Principal Popper is the best principal I've ever seen. And it's just a, an awesome experience for me and I'm happy that I'm here. If you OPN, uh, engaging is on my agenda, request my chariot again. Because 8th graders are my favorite learners. 
you guys are in a like rare place here because you're the top of the top of the junior high rather than being in the middle and so it's fun to be able to hang out with you guys and help with you guys. Because I believe in hands-on learning where you can like actually experience the different things and understand kind of like how things work and build it yourself. When you are experienced learning and not just sitting in a lecture, it helps you to have that tactile learning experience. But they're ugly, like super ugly. <laughs> but they're kind of comfy. Kind of hurt. They give it four. Yeah. Each school normally has like makes us wear solid curly things, mm -hmm. and then they're gonna go switch up the sleeves like that, mm -hmm. and literally pick the girliest font that they could find and put on every single sweatshirt. And when they were going around showing us the sweatshirts at lunch, they did not look like that. Like a six or a seven. Shirts are kind of okay. I mean, they're really plain, um, I think they're simple, and I like some. Today we're at Crawford College Junior High, we're interviewing the robotics teacher, Ms. Baldwin. So what is robotics class? Robotics class is a beginning to intermediate class, teaching students um, everything from the robotics to um, a little bit more advanced of the parallax robotics. What is robotics? Robotics is the coupling of intelligence with motion to achieve some goal, whether it's manufacturing automobiles, or whether it's processing food. It really takes the drudgery out of some of the jobs that people have today, so that it frees them to pursue other careers. They can go back to school, they can learn about robotics if they want, they don't have to. But uh, that's robotics coupling electronics, uh, motion, and mechanics to get rid of those drudgery jobs. So why did you choose this class? Well, I took this class because I really like robotics, and I just thought it was going to interest too much. What is a play about this year? This year, the school play is Aladdin the Musical Junior. Why did you choose to do this play? Uh, the reason that I chose to do the play Aladdin the Musical Junior is because we had a lot of requests for it, and also there are a lot of parts for guys in it, and we have a lot more boys who are starting to get involved in musical theater. Did your class help you with the set? My class does help me build the set every school year. How long does it take to build everything? To build everything usually takes us a few months. What is Waykind and what is this there for? Waykind is a club that anyone can join that is there to help people and to spread kindness throughout the school. Waykind stands for wellness, acceptance, and you. What makes Waykind different from the whole squad? Uh, Waykind is different from the whole squad because it is far more inclusive. Anybody can join and we encourage people to join and help up with their friends. That's cool as a whole. Yeah, absolutely. Love so, what do you think about the Wake Club? Well, our program helps a lot, and I think the Wake Time Club is really good to kind of substitute the um, Help Squad because anyone can be in it, and I think it's a great way for the school to like have great things. Awesome. What's the difference in your opinion from the elementary to the junior high? I think that it's better and it's more efficient and that we do more stuff and more hands-on. 
So what's the difference in your opinion from the elementary to the junior high? It's better, we get more privileges here. Yeah. We have five more minutes. <laughs> Period. Yeah, that's good. So what's the difference in your opinion from the elementary to the junior high? I think the elementary has a lot of I felt like really nervous but also very excited. You OPN Pitch you won't be Dancing, like in the uh, second grade, I did competitive dance, but and the junior high school, I couldn't do something like that. And so when I found out that the junior high had a dance, I was like, hey, I'm gonna join it. And so here I am. It's fun. We're like a little family, and we look out for each other. Um, they're really supportive at all our games, and they're, they're always cheering us home. So this is my sixth year at Providence Hall. I have you wanted to be a principal. I taught high school for 10 years and I always just wanted to try something new and thought it would be great to be in a situation where I could not only just help students but also help teachers too. To be principal at Providence Hall Junior High. Luckily for me, this was the first school that hired me as a principal. So that's why I'm working here and I love it. Okay. So Mama, you have we'll never forget here at Providence Hall Junior High. Probably every day there is something that happens that I will never forget. Something funny or something crazy. Um, I will definitely never forget when we turned the school into Hogwarts, or even last year when we did Thriller, um, or making Stranger Things this year. Those are all very memorable to me. Send a message, maybe a personal mantra uh, you would like to the students to hear from you. What would it be? You know, I don't necessarily have one saying that I would say. Oh, you know, this is my mantra or my philosophy, but you know, there's a lot of things we do here that we do for a specific reason, um, you know, Patriots of the Day and things like that, and it's, you know, it's because if we only focus on the negative things in our life, um, it's really easy to be sad and be unhappy and have a bad life, and so what we try to do is celebrate as much as we can, to find the good things that people are doing, to find the great things in life and celebrate those and focus on those, and if we do that, then our days will be better, our lives will be better, and you know, the world will be better. So I would just say, focus on the positive, focus on being nice and helping other people, and things will turn out okay. Okay. This is Aurelia Morales, and to the best of all. We love you, Patriots.